and she's attacking them. It's great. Wait, y'all said the white stain on his shirt is a symbol of him and Hunter Avalon's love. That's crazy. That's cr and then look at the shirt that he got on too. Look at look at the shirt he wearing. Look at the Lucas. You a nasty, nasty man. That's crazy. Last part debatable. This is a story a boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. What's going on, guys? We about to talk about the amazing Wokus, the non-amazing Mucus, Wokey, dusty hat. I see a lot of Lucas fans getting upset that I talk about his dusty hat. What you gonna do about it? Not a dang thing. Just like Lucas, you just gonna cry. You gonna cry just like your daddy taught you to. But the non-amazing Lucas, he decided he wanted to talk about Candace Owens. He did it in such a nasty way. Let's check this out. Remember, this is for educational purposes as well as entertainment. Hit the like button, share the video as well. Put F-A-N-G, Fang Gang, in the comment section if you rock with BX Beast Boy. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Let's probably be full screen for a little while. Who called it? Okay. Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard. It's been like 30 years. He's still using the same intro. He's still, he's still doing the, <laughs> what is that, man? That is so strange. Kundus Owens is gone down uh, the Jedi rabbit hole. That is, <laughs> that is correct. This is Allison uh, Julan. That's, that's where we are right now with Kundus Owens. And Kundus Owens has gone down talking about, hey, that the Jews we have now aren't really the actual Jews, okay, they, they weren't that. This is for edu- Why they make me do the This is for educational purposes. This nigga's nasty. He's, he's wild. He got a new earring today, too. That's crazy. He ain't getting none of that dust off his hat or his shirt, my nigga. Like, I don't want to be, like, petty. What is that white stain? <laughs> this nigga is dusty, bro. I know. A bunch of people are like, come on, man. Talk about his points. Don't keep saying he does. It's hard to not notice the dust. The actual Jews that, that you know, the scriptures dust. refer. Just a simple shower and to just wash your clothes, nigga. Ain't no dust on my hoodies. This nigga is dusty. That's a dusty Very dude. similar to, to what I've heard from Hebrew Israelites. Um, she's talking about a, a, a blood libel and all these things. Talking about, oh, this is the best one. How, how, how. The U.S. is under hostage by Israel. Now, mm, just delicioso, okay? Just, just delicious, this delicious. He's out of line, but he's right. It's cool. Now, when it yeah, comes to right. our comments about- And I rock with Anthony Mackie, so I hate that he uses that clip. Y'all asked me in the chat, yeah, did he call, uh, yeah, he called it that. He did call it up. Netanyahu and the power of Israel having on the U.S., I don't know how anybody can refute what she's saying in those in that regard, in those specific regards. OK, because some of the other stuff I haven't looked into, to be to be honest with you, because I don't need to. Right. I can see a pattern. A, B, C. I don't need to be a genius to know that the next is possibly more than likely D. Right. I Absolutely. Now you can say, well, it's actually F. OK, it's actually Z. You can, but anyone with an IQ of room temperature is going to guess that the next word, next letter after A, B, C is going to be D. Next However, word. having said that, the next word after, <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm seeing a lot of people attacking Kundus Owens, and I listen. This is a win-win, wow. no matter what. Okay, I don't like Kundus Owens wow. and what she was doing this uh, before that she's came to a this, win? you know, Catholic awakening, and I don't like her now. So it's a win-win, her, her, them attacking her, and she attacking them, it's great. Y'all said the white stain on his shirt is a symbol of him and Hunter Avalon's love. That's crazy. That's, cr and then look at the shirt that he got on, too. Look at, look at the shirt he wearing. Look at the, Lucas, you a nasty, nasty man. That's crazy. Last part, debatable. It's mutual destruction as far as, as, far as I'm concerned, because she, she still hasn't done any redress for the harm she caused to the black community within the Republican Party, okay? That she hasn't still done nothing to, to mend that wound, nothing. A lot of people are calling out, say, hey, I rebuke Candace Owens, you know what, that every, you know, every, uh, uh, I don't know, in the conservative movement should not have her to talk and everything, and they should rebuke her as well, yada, yada, yada. Essentially, attempting to blacklist her within the conservative party, mm -hmm. which, I don't know if you happen to know this. What's new? Did you not know she was beefing with Daily Wire? What are you talking about? People try to blacklist Candace Owens on a regular basis, and it's not going to work. Are really conservatives 
That's correct. The majority of these people who call themselves conservatives, especially online, they're Jewish. I don't, I mean, th those are just facts. They're part of the Jedi. They're part of the Shapiro, you know, the Shapiro crew. Now, I'm not saying that's anything, you know, wrong with that. I'm just saying that they're not Christian. They're not Catholic. They don't even worship the same person you worship. They believe that the person you worship was, you know, an idiot who died for his troubles. That's, that's what they believe, okay, from their own book. That's what they believe. I just He's trying to like hide him disrespecting Jesus as putting it on a like, come on, bro. Like that's just, it sound like it came from you as well. It hysterical. Also, this is for educational purposes, man. I don't got no hate or disdain towards nobody. When you have, you know, these people talking about we need to bring God, you know, into to, to politics and everything. And like they're they're literal just saying whatever they want, whatever they're getting paid to say. That's all they are. They're talking heads. That's what they are. They don't believe in anything you believe. If you look as far as what's going on in Israel and everything, they don't condone what you condone. They don't believe not a damn thing that's coming out of their mouths. That's what makes them so dangerous. That's what makes them so lethal. As I've said before. Sound like he's describing himself. I just think of the switch up king. Kundis Owens, switch and I came out and said this, I, I, I would say I was one of the very first, or what, at least one of the first, who came out and was like, yo, I, I've been behind the curtains. I've seen that she's not very bright. I've seen what they've done to try and-, and You've been behind the curtains. Why do you keep trying to use you, quote unquote, meeting her? I don't think she would even remember that as some kind of like sign that you're superior in any way, shape or form. Boost her to be you're this not. this figurehead, right, right, of the conservative movement. Oh, she's so eloquent, she's beautiful, this and this. And I'm like, this is all a lie. <laughs> the people behind her who are financing her anti-black agenda. Think of what? But she doesn't have an anti-black agenda, you bozo. This nigga, he's a weirdo, bro. He is such a weirdo. Were white and they were Jewish. I'm unaware of any Ethiopian Jews that were giving her money, that were promoting, you know, such uh, uh, just such lies as her George Floyd documentary, which I debunked. I, I'm not. I'm not aware of this, okay? And what I find that to be ironic is that someone on debunking. Twitter said the same damn thing. Is that I don't recall all this, you know, all this triggering happening when she was dunking on black people. And then she quote tweets that and says that's because it was encouraged. Oh. I hate to toot my own horn, but honk, honk, Ugh. honk. I told you all this. I told so out of context. I told, I'm the only one, right, who came from the whole Blexit and conservative, all that. I was like, yo, this is foolishness. So like, this is, context. they haven't, they are feeding these poor, you know, PWTs of the Republican Party. They're feeding them lies. That's what they're doing. And the problem is, is that they think that they're helping black people, right? And there's like, no, what these clowns are telling you is actually harming black people. And given the fact that they have no scruples and they have no spine. Mm, as shut up. I don't speak for Ben Shapiro or anyone else at Daily Wire if I'm um, just going to be honest. I only rock with Candace. Guys, I probably only rock with her the whole time. Not that I think about it. I kind of watch Brett Cooper, but I'm more of a Candace Owens fan. If I'm just being honest with you. Showed. It's like, Science well, enough, we huh? could actually use these people to our benefit. We could actually be helping the country and, and creating a better country than you trying to, to cause some type of division, talking about, oh, reparations and this and Juneteenth is ghetto. I'm like, these people will listen Juneteenth to you no matter what you say. And instead of telling them the truth, you're just repeating lies. And you, you're repeating lies are going to be harmful to people. Yo, the stuff that you're saying as lies is just opinion based. You can't say someone's lying if they're giving their opinion on something. If I say, this is stupid or this is dumb, I don't like it. You're lying. How dare you say you not like it? You're black. What are you talking about, dude? What are you, what are you legitimately talking about? I don't think you even, you're just saying stuff. People who look like you. That's the crazy, that's the crazy part, okay, of all this. It's like, when it comes to Kunis Owens and people like that, whether it's a Brandon Tantrum and the rest of them, they're the spreading worst. lies that are going to be harmful to people that the look worst. like them. They think that they're, you know, the, the, <laughs> that one Negro, right? The, the, the superior Negro, the, you know, the house Negro who's like, I'm not like the rest of them. And it's like, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> and we're all on the Titanic. So we can either change history and, and t turn left. And he just called Candace Owens a house Negro? Why is he so woke? Why? Why? I, I don't know. Why are you so woke? Why are you like this? Who made you like this? Who made you like this, sir? Like what? Who broke your heart? 
miss the glacier or it's going to be it's going to be game over because you have all these people who are who are being engineered. You have to understand just how as far as many of the white Jedi have engineered as far as the culture and what many black people want to assume is the culture. Mm -hmm. No, this is a commercialization of the culture. These rappers aren't really rappers. They don't they don't come from tough times. They have been engineered. They are now creating the culture. That's what they are doing. Wait, you got to come from tough times to rap? Nigga, you could be from the suburbs and rap. What are you talking about? Oh, man. They're creating the culture this and they're using crazy. black faces as proxies to push it through in order for them to get their paycheck, to get the cut. And the same thing they are doing within the political arena. Meanwhile, you pushing Kamala, though. Meanwhile, you want Kamala to win. Wasn't she just popping it with Meg the Stallion? You have Ben Shapiro's and the rest of them pushing Please. the Kunazoans, pushing these people as merely black faces in what they perceive to be high places, politically speaking. Even though at the end of the day, they have no power. Kunazoans has no political power. Think about that. After all the tap dancing she did, she has no power whatsoever. None. They have stripped her of any title that she wished she had. All that fame, all that clout that she wanted so desperately, they were they robbed her of that. They robbed her of that. So now usually she's she's only pandering to like the fringes of the fringe. And he just say he robbed her. Like she not still popping? Bro, within like a short time span, she was able to on a newer channel dust you. She was able to get her channel beyond your channel like that without daily. What are you talking? He's just saying stuff, bro. He's literally and just that's saying not stuff. the Republican Party. That's not the conservative party, or at least that's not what they want to promote. So she was only good for the tap dancing that she was doing. As soon as they she got off script, what happened? The, what happened? The white Jedi are like, oh, bye, off you go. We can't use you anymore. That's that's how that works. So all of this about free speech, all of this about, well, we're free. Is that that's what you said to your lint brush? That's what you, you was like, we can't use. That's what you said to the to laundry. That's what you said. I mean, that's why it's all thinkers. All of this uh, about, well, the left is the NPCs. We are free thinkers. We think for ourselves. All of that, as I've told you, right, was lies. I, I was a perfect example of that being lies. I come to find out that, hey, your hypocrisy, I'm exposing your hypocrisy. And then they wanted to blame me. Oh, you, what happened to you? So this just goes to show you in many cases, it, it's very a cultish mindset. And those in power, the, the, the Jedis, okay, the Ben Shapiro's, those in power are not for this country. They're not. So is there truth it's in the what Candace worse. Owens says and some of what she says? Absolutely 100%. Was there truth when she was speaking, you know, for, you know, the right ring of, of uh, you know, of, of the political atmosphere? Candace never lied. She's always spoke the truth. What are you talking about, bro? Like, what is it in you that really just hates her? Is it her success? Because then you try to say she wasn't like gorgeous too earlier, like an elegant, like your bucket. There's poison. There's poison in that. So it, it, it's it's a poison sandwich. It's, you know, it's a BS sandwich, a little bit of truth, a lot of BS, a little bit of truth. Mm. That's what it was. So I just find it interesting, all the attacks on her and, you know, her coming out and saying that it was, it was encouraged. So that goes to show you that the Ben Shapiro's of this world who are in control of the media, who are in control of certain aspects of what you see and what is promoted, they don't care about us. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Let me know where you- Shut up. Anyways, guys, I want reparations. I think that guy's a loser. This is my personal opinion. I truly believe that guy is a loser and he hates Candace for no reason. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what yours is down in the comment section. Hit the like button, share the video as well. Straight corny. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BX Beast Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me 
get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.